And now, John, myth number four. Myth number four. I heard this one when I was a kid. A penny dropped from the top of the Empire State Building could kill a pedestrian below. People at the Empire State Building thought it would. Anybody who gets hit by that penny is about to die, because that's a long way for a penny to fall. And people here agree. Oh, it'd kill them, for sure. If it hit the ground hard enough, it might flatten out into a quarter or something. Those people were standing at the top of America's tallest building, the Sears Tower in Chicago. If it hit somebody, I think it'd really hurt them. Stupid penny. That's what happens in this Tony Award-winning musical. The puppet throws a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and strikes her romantic rival below, breaking her neck. What happened to her? Some idiot threw a penny off the Empire State Building. I heard that the penny would go through someone's head. People said it would be like a bullet. It would kill you. They're thinking of a world without air. Physicist Lou Bloomfield. But air resistance is a big deal for little things. It, it slows down leaves, it slows down raindrops, and it slows down pennies. But a penny's heavier than a raindrop. They catch a lot of wind, very unstable in the air, and it just flutters. Bloomfield tackles the penny myth in his book, How Everything Works. We kept hearing about pennies. They dent the sidewalk. Well, it's, it's human intuition. You think, whatever it is I'm holding is up there at the Empire State Building. This is really bad news. I've always heard if you drop a penny from this high up, it would clearly uh, kill someone. Not a pleasant thought. Don't no. want to try it, but it would be kind of interesting to find out. It would, but how would you test it? Well, the ideal thing would be to, to drop a penny off the Empire State Building and catch it. But sadly, no building will let us do this because they're all worried about the myth. So at our request, Bloomfield concocted another test. He filled this balloon with helium and attached a penny dispenser to it. It just spits out one penny at a time. He launched the balloon hundreds of feet into the air, then a remote control device released the pennies and he ran around trying to catch them. I bounced off my hand. It didn't feel like anything. It bounced off my hand again. You never did catch it. I didn't catch it because I'm a oh. bad catch. And it was a windy day. Oh, yeah. Where'd it go? Oh! <laughs> it surprised me. Did you catch that? It's like getting hit with a bug. It hit me right in the chin. It was noticeable, but nothing more. I was just disappointed I hadn't caught the thing. So a penny won't hurt me, but you don't want people throwing things off tall buildings. Other things would hurt. That's right. If they're aerodynamically streamlined, something like a ballpoint pen, they'll reach the point at which they're going a couple hundred miles an hour, and that's dangerous. Don't dump your handbag out the top of a building. Something in that bag is likely to go awfully fast.